Hi Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. This is gonna be your reading for October 2020. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If this resonates for you, Sag, please do like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. If it doesn't, definitely check out your other placements because those can also give you lots and lots of information. So I'm gonna start out with love. I wanna get you guys as many messages for the month of October as possible. I already pulled the Romance Angels for you and a couple Oracle, Love Oracle cards, which we'll go over after we do the spread. And then we'll check into work and any other possible messages that they might have for you for October. Okay, Sag, so when I started to meditate, on your energy, they get, just kept showing me a big heart. And then they just showed me the eight, the uh, three of swords. I feel like you've come out of a situation, a heartbreaking situation. It seems like love seems to be really strong in your mind right now. The relationship that you were in, in the recent past, you could be currently in this and moving towards whether you want to leave it or stay in it, maybe you're having trouble making up your mind, but I definitely see that there's been some heartbreak in the current circumstances, whether it be a past person or someone you're currently dealing with. So let's see what other messages there are for you in love for October 2020. This is for Sag. Okay, so your first romance angel card is stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Then we have attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying the moment, this moment fully. And then we have worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. As I was saying, when we first started, I think this is you coming out of a situation and maybe feeling like, Either you're done with love, you're tired of dealing with relationships that seem to be the same over and over and over again. Maybe you've been out of it just long enough and you haven't felt like there's anyone that you felt any kind of attraction to. I think what they're trying to tell you is give it time. It's worth waiting for. When, when the divine wants to bring you that right kind of love, if you've learned all the lessons that you need to learn, which a lot of this Capricorn energy has been trying to teach us, whether it's in relationships, depending on where your placements are in your chart or around work situations or just relationships in general, their biggest message is in love, the right one is always worth waiting for. We definitely have to get through whatever heartbreak, process those feelings and Make sure that we're open, that our heart chakra is open so that we can be there when, be available for that person and ready for that person when they show up in our life. You just never know when they're going to pop up out of nowhere. You could meet them at the most random places and or online. So I'm hearing online. So if you happen to be attracted to someone online just recently, give it some time. If they don't respond or... There hasn't been any kind of communication just yet. I'd say stay optimistic about it because I have a feeling that whoever this person is, either you're thinking about them or they're strongly thinking about you is the energy I'm picking up on. They're going to make a move. And I think the biggest message here is to really clear out whatever it was that you went through so that you can be ready for this. The divine wants to show you, it wants to, they want to bring it to you, but they want you to make sure that you take the time to really heal yourself prior to bringing you this love so that you can be open and optimistic and really excited about what's to come. So the first three cards that we got were the two of swords in reverse, the four of swords, and then we have the 10 of swords. So this right off tells me that you weren't able to make a decision about something. You were really trying to think it over 
and make sure that you were making the right decision. And I think you realized that there was just too much hurt, pain, possibly manipulation I'm hearing, a lot of secrets, a lot of things that went on in the relationship that you aren't willing to tolerate in the future. And I think you're going to heal from that. You're going to decide to take the time to really think things through before you make decisions in love moving forward. You've, I feel like you've just been through so much heartbreak and so many lessons around relationships and love that making the right decision is really important to you in the future. You don't want to make the same mistake twice, the two of swords, and thinking about it and feeling your way through it and truly releasing whatever pain there was, taking the lessons from that situation or even ones prior to that, seeing if there's any kind of similarities in the relationships that you've been in so that you don't constantly go through this heartbreak and pain and they're telling me resentment. So if you're carrying any resentment for your past relationships, they're really asking you to take the time to move through that energy and to try to release that so that they can bring you this love that they want you to see in the future that's going to be something I don't think you've experienced before. I really do believe this is going to be the person that you're going to end up with long term. And they're giving me the tens. So uh, tens are completions. Tens are finishing up things and starting new. Putting down any kind of burdens. Trying to release any kind of past hurts. And feeling your way through it is the most important thing. They just want you to feel your way through it so that you can release it. Holding on to any past hurts only hurts you. And I do think you're going to take some time out to really pay attention to yourself so that you don't go through this again. You know, when we release any kind of the resentments or past burdens or hurts, pains, betrayals, once we release that, we can open ourselves up to a new experience. And it doesn't have to be learning lessons through pain. We can actually learn lessons through a healthy, happy, nurturing relationship. So let's see what they have next for you. Okay. So... The person in the past feels as though they were holding back their feelings. I don't feel like they have any intention of coming back and offering anything new. It feels to me that they're just not looking back with the Seven of Swords. They've made a decision that they don't feel as though they can give to the relationship anymore. Maybe there was some instability um, I'm feeling the start and stop in the relationship. So if the two of you had gone back and forth, I think you're both tired of it and want to walk away knowing that something better is in the future, even though it hurts and the betrayal is deep. You want to put your efforts into something that's going to be worth it and bring you all the things that you really want. I think you'll take the time to look deeper before you get involved with someone in the future. Okay, let's get a few more cards and see what's coming towards you. So the Four of Cups in Reverse, the Hierophant, and the Devil Upright. I feel like this is you coming out of any kind of toxic cycles and relationships, not tolerating anyone that doesn't see what it is that you have to offer into the relationship. The Hierophant has a higher knowing. Maybe you're getting more in touch with your spiritual side and you're going to trust your judgment in the future because you're not interested in someone from the past that's not only going to break your heart, but that has any kind of toxic energy. You want to move away from that and release it so that moving forward, you can choose not only with 
your heart, but with your intuition. The Hierophant's very intuitive, very knowing, trusting the gut, really digging deep within. Okay. So your message is from the Lover's Oracle. Imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. That's really beautiful, and that's exactly what we were talking about. And then passion, a magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present. Enjoy it. This is what I was feeling for you. I feel like you're moving out of any kind of toxic relationship, anything that feels manipulative or anything that your gut tells you doesn't feel right, you're going to move away from, and you have this to look forward to. They want you to really pay attention to how you feel when you first meet someone. See if you feel that passion. If it doesn't ignite almost right away, you're going to know now that you don't want to move forward into something that doesn't give you that feeling. Sometimes we think because of the words that someone says that they're being honest and that that's truly who they are. And I think now you've found a different way of feeling into relationships before you get into them and you know what you want having had all these experiences in the past that were obviously not giving to you in the way that you desired either you know they were I feel like cheap is what they're telling me or they can be cheap with their emotions as much as they can be cheap with money they can also hold back their feelings. And I feel like this person had a tendency to hold back their feelings or were manipulative with your feelings. If there were thoughts or ideas that you had that were things that might be going on in the relationship, it feels to me like this person would almost it kind of has a little bit of a narcissistic quality to them. And it, it was as if they were coming towards you to purposely hurt you to say and do things that they knew were going to put you in a, a confused state of mind is, is what I keep feeling. Now the overall energy is the 10 of wands in reverse. This is you laying down any burdens of the past, any kind of old manipulative toxic behaviors, you're done. You're putting that to rest. You're going to take some time out and truly heal. I think you question yourself about the decisions you've made in the past. And now you've realized that you know exactly what it is that you want. You know you're attractive at this time. And you also know that the right type of person is worth waiting for. All right. So now that we've got the messages from the past and current situation... Let's see what they have to say for singles looking for new love. What are my single Sagittarius messages for new love, please? My single Sagittarius's for new love. Okay. We've got. So I'd say you've got many options. Just use your intuition because you don't want any kind of delusion as to what type of person you're coming in contact with. I see three different options, even though this is showing seven, I'm feeling three different options that you may have to choose from. Maybe you're going to go on three dates in the near future and you're going to have several people with different types of qualities that you find interesting. But I think one in particular is going to stand out. With the Nine of Wands, in this case, I don't think you're going to have to think too much about this new person. I think you're going to be in a place where you've released so much and your intuition is so intact that you won't have to question the decisions that you make. And then we have justice. And I feel like you're going to find 
the situation that works best for you, the relationship that feels most balanced and even and equal. And I definitely think this new person that's going to be moving towards you sometime towards the end of October, but I feel like you might be dating within October and come to a conclusion around the third week, possibly about somebody that's recently caught your eye or that you end up going out on a date with. And you're going to feel like this person is is balanced in their energy. The two of you might have a lot in common. Maybe the, the two of you have a lot of activities that you really like to do. Lots of, this person likes to go out and not just say, stay home. They actually have a creative side to them and they truly want to experience things in life. Possibly they're telling me travel. So this, if you really like to travel, this person's going to want to do that with you which is nice. Okay. And then for couples, let's see what's going on for my Sagittarian couples. What's going on for the Sagittarian couples? We've got the fool in the upright, the six of wands and the chariot. Okay. Couples. So from what it was that I was getting in the beginning of the video and what I have laid out here and the other messages, I'm going to say that somebody has a decision to make and doesn't want to make the wrong decision. It looks to me as though you are possibly moving away from someone, six of wands, someone from your past. Or if you're in a current relationship, I have a feeling you're looking towards moving away from it. And the chariot card says the same thing. It doesn't feel to me like this is a relationship you're happy in and that you want to look towards a new beginning, see what's available out there. If there are problems going on in your current relationship and you really want to work on it, they're saying to stay optimistic about it. There could be a possibility to take a leap of faith and move into the direction of working on things. So I see both. Either side can fit. There's so many of you out there. Either situation could be true for you. I'd say really trust your intuition when it comes to making a decision about leaving a current relationship. I don't know that you're going to want to make any, any kind of foolish decisions. Let's put it that way. You, you definitely aren't wanting to make any kind of quick moves or changes. If you have children, you don't want to disrupt the family dynamic by moving too quickly into something either new and or out of the relationship because you know that that can shake the stability. Okay, so let's get some info for you guys about work, work and money for my Sagittarius is for October, 2020. What's going on for my Sagittarius is for work, October, 2020. Okay. 10 of cups, the hang man and the queen of swords in reverse. I feel like this is your complete happiness that if you right now, if you haven't heard anything about a job and you're waiting to hear about a new position that you've applied for, I'd say, yes, this is definitely going to come through. If you're in a current job, it seems as though there's going to be some waiting for a new opportunity. If you're looking for a raise or you're wanting to move up in your company, it seems like the communication might be a little slow right now and you're kind of having to wait to get your answers. And then I'm getting if you're doing any kind of entrepreneurial work, if you're starting your own business and it's something that you're kind of coming out of a job and you want to start this, but you're not really 100% sure, they're saying to take your time 
get all the information about it. Make sure that you have all your paperwork in order. So they're showing me papers and stacked. Take your time. The hangman definitely says, take your time. Don't rush into anything because you're going to find your happiness in the end of this. It's definitely going to, not only going to be fulfilling emotionally, but I feel like it's going to bring out the most creative side of you that you've ever experienced. So anyone, Sagittarian, right now, the messages are really great. It could be slow moving and there's just a waiting period, but ultimately the outcome is going to be amazing. You're going to be really happy. It'll be fulfilling. It'll be great for your family. Um, probably going to pay more if you're looking into a new position and waiting to hear from them about that. I'm hearing it's going to pay more. Whatever any of you are looking for as far as answers about what you're going for or the changes that you're looking for, it's a definite positive. I love that. Ten of Cups. Okay, Sat. So let's get a couple of cards from the Health and Manifestation, the Oracle cards. Let's see what kind of advice they might have in here. So these cards can be for you or they could be for somebody in your immediate family, maybe a situation you might be dealing with or just things that have come up into your awareness recently. So let's check into what's going on for Sagittarius. Okay. So the first one we have is instead of problem-oriented stories, I will tell solution-oriented stories. Excuse me. It is natural that by knowing what you do not want, you are able to clarify what you do want. And there is nothing wrong with identifying a problem before beginning to look for a solution. But many people over time become problem-oriented rather than solution-oriented. And in their examination and explanation of the problem, they continue the perpetuation of the problem. That which is like unto itself is drawn. So tell the story you want to live and you will eventually live it. I think this has to do with both love and work is to really keep your mindset as positive as you possibly can. I know it's impossible to stay positive all the time, 24 seven. We just can't. I, I love the saying stinking thinking and we wanna get rid of stinking thinking, but no matter what it is you're dealing with, as long as you're processing the feelings that you have and letting those go and releasing them, you're gonna have, a, you're gonna have much more ability to see things from a positive perspective. We really can choose to feel positive about any situation, as hard as it may be. It doesn't mean that you shouldn't feel the difficulty. It's to teach you to move through it quicker so that you can get to the other side. There's always a solution to all problems. As much as we don't feel like there is when we're in such rocky times, you know, the unknown is a little scary and I think the universe is really pushing us to come to a place of trust. Trust that things are going to work out. Try to stay positive about whatever the outcome may be, even if it's going to be uncomfortable. It's just to stay as optimistic as you possibly can. Okay, let's get one more. We've got, rather than seeking cures, I'll address vibrational causes. When you begin to look for and understand the vibrational causes for diseases rather than looking for cures, then you will come to the end of the pile of diseases. When you are able to deliberately accomplish the emotion of ease and its accompanying vibrational alignment, it is possible to live disease-free. When you focus upon disease, you perpetuate more disease. But you can break the cycle at any time and achieve wonderful physical wellness yourself, for your natural state is one of wellness." I love this card. I know it's difficult for a lot of people because there has been so much going on in the world with illness and everybody's different opinions about how we should deal with this. You know, most of us in this community come from a very natural place and we do believe that our thinking can unfortunately create ailments in our bodies, not to blame any individual. 
It's just trying to move past whatever it is bothering you, any of your problems, and learning from them and focusing on taking the lessons out of any situation so that we don't carry those things in our bodies and hold on to them in a way that can create some kind of physical illness. We can actually make ourselves sick from stress and you know, all of what's going on right now. There's so much information out there, so many confusing things that people are saying and doing. And it's really taking the time to try to set yourself apart from that and focus on you and your energy and how you want to feel on a daily basis. And I really think that's going to help you get through whatever the heartache in any situation is. It'll help you move through it. It's going to help you stay more positive and feel healthier. Obviously, eating well and exercising is one of the best things that you can do for yourself. All right, so last but not least, let's get a card for you from the universe. Okay, it's community. So I think they're asking you to take some time. It looks very earthy and outdoors. And it is the number eight. It's cycles. So paying attention to the cycles that are happening in life. Taking some time to go out, be a more, in, how do I want to put this? Get more involved possibly in what's going on around you, not necessarily just the community. I know it's really difficult for people to get out and socialize as we were so doing in the past, but this feels like you need to bring in family, bring in friends to be supportive, just Check in with those people who are closest to you that support you the most, that make you feel the most nurtured so you can get through whatever tough times you might be having, whether they're in this relationship situation that we were talking about. And I do believe that those people are going to help you heal any of those hurts and get you to a place where you are looking forward to what's coming in the future because you do have some beautiful things coming towards you. All right, let's get some last messages and see if there's anything else that they want to tell us about what's going on for Sagittarius in October. What other messages do we have? Let's see what other messages we have for Sagittarius for October. So we have the temperance in reverse, queen of wands, and the star in reverse. I feel like this is saying, okay, what may have not come through for you that you thought was going to be your wish fulfillment in the past, try not to look at that. Try to focus on creating what is going to make you happy. Again, it's going back to the things that they were talking about. It's what you focus on, how important it is to stay positive because What's coming for you is going to be fulfilling. With temperance in reverse, if you've lost patience, they're asking you to try to have patience, try to find some balance. It feels like you might be a little out of balance right now if you're going through the heartbreak or you're having any troubles at work and you're feeling like things aren't moving as quickly as you'd like them to. Have patience because you're going to move forward. The Queen of Wands is very confident and strong and secure in her positions. And I think this is you looking forward to what's coming in the future. Even if it's not here right this moment, everything that you're getting, whether it be in October or November, they're, they're telling me within the next three months is definitely worth waiting for. And it will be your wish fulfillment in the end. Once you've taken the time to really release whatever feelings you were having about this past relationship or your current relationship be patient in everything that you do. I think the overall message for you for October is to truly be patient. Be patient with yourself. Be patient with whatever relationship situations you're going through. Be patient with all of the, the growth that's happening for you right now. And give yourself a break. Basically, give yourself a break. 
you're strong, you're worthy, you're lovable, and all of those things that you truly want in your life are possible. Try to stay out of your head as much as you possibly can and truly heal what it is that has been been weighing on you. It's what I keep feeling. Anything that's been weighing on you, it's time to relax, go within, release those things, and look forward to all the positive things that seem to be coming for you. The divine really wants you to know that love, good work situations, health, all of that is possible. You definitely, be patient with yourself. You definitely have the ability to accomplish it all. Okay, Sagittarius, thank you so much. If you stayed through the end, I appreciate you. If you did like this and it resonated for you, please do like, share, and subscribe. And if you'd love, or like to, I'd love it if you'd leave a comment. If you'd like a personal reading, my information is in the description box below. And I will see you in your next video. Thank you so much, Sag. Love and light.